The next element that we'll be learning to configure is the event lobby. Now the event lobby is one of the most functional and most um, dynamic pages that you can create on Plato. It's very fun to work with and it's very simple. Everything you need to create is in these five options right here. So uh, before we dive into that, I'm just going to log into uh, my front end, which is demo.plato.in from a profile that I have created for myself so that I can show you guys what the lobby looks like. Right now, it should be blank because we have not added any configuration. So all you see is a blank screen. Um, but in a moment from now, with just a few clicks, we are completely going to change the look of this page. Uh, we're going to add a lot of interactive and dynamic elements to this page. And it is all going to be very, very simple. So let's get started. All you need to do is go into page configurations, which is the second option under event lobby tag uh, and click on that. Hotspots is something that we'll be touching on later. Um, so just go to page configurations and um, like we did for in the login page configuration, all you have to do is click on add page configurations and it should open up a form that is pretty similar to the one that we configured earlier. Um, so all you have to do is put in the page title that says lobby um, because we're creating um, the event lobby I want it to be um, lobby it could be anything that you want to set it to um, you just click on enable so that it so that Plato picks up this setting and then we're going to go ahead and add a background image a background template which has to be in 1920 by 1080 format uh, which was what we used earlier. So all creatives and all files that you upload onto Plateau have to be in this standard HD format. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a template that I have uh, on hand on a, and a bunch of resources um, that I've gotten from my design team. We will also be sharing these resources with you so that um, you can practice everything that you learn here today. Uh, so moving on, I before we fill out the rest of the form, I'm just going to save this um, to show you guys how the uh, lobby looks now that we've added a template to it. So it should pick that up instantaneously and there you go. That is how the lobby page looks now with the template and everything that you see here, you know, these boxes uh, are nothing but uh, media slots. So we can add uh, branding here, we can add uh, your company logos here you can add your sponsor profiles here um, anything that you want and not just here you can get your designer to create any template that you want or uh, you can download any existing uh, image from google that can be used as a template and you can uh, make these boxes anywhere you like uh, and you can upload an image there so uh, what we're going to be doing now is we'll be going to uh, using this as a template and we're going to add all of our plateau branding onto the slots that you're seeing here so let's get started uh, this is where the fun um, you know starts and uh, what you need to do is we're going to be adding the video first to add the video you have to go back into page configurations uh, and you just click on this um, you know active sign here and it should open uh, the lobby setting that we just configured and now it's going to ask you the type of video that you want to embed on your event lobby page so you know you can either select youtube or you can either select vimeo so i am going to go ahead with vimeo as my uh, video aggregator and i'm going to go ahead and paste the vimeo url uh, you can go ahead with YouTube as well, um, you know, it's just a matter of preference. Um, I go into Vimeo and I'm going to quickly search for uh, Plateau Demo. And there it is. I'm just going to copy the URL quickly and I'm going to add that to my Vimeo URL tab. So you can add both URLs here. You can add a YouTube URL as well. But, um, you know, depending on what you switch here and what you select here, uh, is what is going to be displayed on the front end. So in this case, I want my Vimeo URL to be displayed on my front end. Now, where do I want to position this video on the template that we just saw? Doing that is very simple. All you need is Microsoft Paint. So um, 
what we're going to do here quickly is we're going to open the template that we had just uploaded onto the backend and we're going to open that with paint there you go let's zoom it down a bit and yep that's it so uh, once you have your template open on paint um, there are certain values that you need to make a note of once you click on select um, you should see this cursor this crosshair um, and notice this section here when I move my crosshair from any point this value changes so that is the value that I want to record first that is my x y coordinate or my top and left as you have it on the back end so um, all you have to do if we are embedding a video um, this is the video slot that you want to target and all you have to do is put your cursor on the top left of that box there and you have to note this value here so when I position this here and when I align it um, I should get a value that says seven triple that says triple seven and three six seven that is the value that I want to record now I'm going to uh, enter that value in my spec sheet triple seven and three six seven so I'm just going to go ahead and enter that value on my spec sheet triple seven and three six seven now what you're looking at here is all the slots that we just saw with all the values that you will need to add images to them so we have already compiled all of this information that works with our template and we'll be giving this to you so that it makes your job that much easier uh, but since we're doing this for the first time we've entered the uh, values for video manually and now it's time to pick up the width and height ratio um, so we'll go back to paint and there it is so um, you see uh, that the first value that you see that you're seeing here is your top and the next value that you're seeing here is your left so oh I'm sorry the first value that you're seeing is your left and the next value that you're seeing is your top um, so what you have to do is simply move your cursor to that area um, and you know, record that value triple seven three six five so triple seven becomes your left and three six seven so it can change um, you know a pixel or two depending on how you move your cursor if you want to if you want these values to be exact you can always um, you know ask your designer to give you these values um, you know uh, using a software like Photoshop you can get very accurate values and um, you can also speed up the process of getting all these values if you work with a designer um, so I have entered these values here manually and now I'm going to be entering the width and height to do that I have to open paint again and move the cursor to uh, my previous location to the top left that should do it there it is and now I'm going to draw a box here from the select tab and I'm going to match all the edges it so now our video is going to be uh, positioned in this box here so I'm going to pick up these two values now this is the width and the height that we are going to have to pick up to embed things onto our page so we'll go back to our document that we're creating here and we'll take those values from paint so 367 and 183 Three six seven and one eight three is what is already been entered here. Um, so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to retype that three six seven and one eight three. We just picked up those values from Paint, uh, and these are the four values that I'm going to have to enter onto my backend. So triple seven and three six five. and then the width that is 367 and 183 so the width is 367 and the height is 183 so we've gotten these values from here and we have put them here so this will position our video exactly where it wanted where we want it to be so i'm going to go ahead and save this setting now i wait for the confirmation and 
refresh this once and you should see that video being reflected here so it's as simple as that um, it's very easy to add images and to position them on your page um, let's go back to our backend now we're going to learn how to add images to your template now that we have configured our lobby page and we have positioned our video on the lobby page screen as well we're going to move ahead and add images to our template so whenever you have to add any static image to your template you know it could be a branding that you want to be displayed here uh, it could be your logo it could be your client brochures or your client standees or you know any uh, marketing um, document that you have to display uh, can be integrated here so we're going to go ahead and do that now so all you have to do is click on sponsor logos which is the last option uh, under event lobby tag so click on sponsor logos and click on add sponsor logo it's that simple this should open up a form again and um, the tooltip text is basically um, you know it helps you to keep a track of all the files all the media that you have uploaded I'm going to enable that i'm going to add a picture to slot one so i'm going to go ahead and choose the creator for that which i have ready on hand we'll also be going to sharing this with you to make your job easier and help you to practice as well so i'm going to go ahead and open that uh, there you go so the first file has been uploaded and now we're going to have to fill in the left top and the width height coordinates to do this all you have to do is open your template onto paint again like we did for the video slot we are going to have to take this cursor up there to the left top left of uh, the top left of your slot of your box and you're going to want to record this value here so it says 233 uh, by not aligned perfectly just give me a moment um, yep uh, there we go so it says 233 by 1 so that is the perfect um, you know top corner that we have selected now um, so it says 2331 these are the two values that I want to record so I'll be opening my spec sheet um, and you know we already have the values here I'm going to just um, change that uh, and now we need the width and the height so how do we get that with paint um, just go there and you know align your cursor to the value that you've aligned it previously and just um, drag drag this box down here and it should give you oh, I think I missed out a part there Let's just do that again and there we go um, that should do it so now I have this value the second value here we do not want anything to be copied from here this is just the resolution this is the width and the height so these two values have to be put on our spec sheet so I'm going to go ahead and do that so it says 189 by let's check that again it says 189 by 339 so i'm going to go ahead and feed that here 189 and 339 so these are the values that we have just picked up and these are the values that we're going to be putting on plateau so 2331 189339 that's it that's how simple it is so i'm going to save this now and let's see if that is reflected onto our front end and there you go you have your first creative your first banner that has been uploaded onto the front end um, and we're going to repeat that same process for every um, slot that you see here and by the end of this process this should be completely decked up so let's go and do that now so i'm going to be adding more images um, to the file so this time i'm going to name it slot 2 i'm going to choose the second slot that i have and um, the coordinates so if you work with the designer um, you could you know always um, sit with your designer and um, 
get all these values simultaneously um, and this is a very quick process on Adobe Photoshop so um, you know it's very easy to do that um, if you know how to use Photoshop yourself you could do that or even ask your client um, to you know give you creatives in this format if you're going to be using the templates that we'll be sharing with you um, so it's pretty easy once you have these values uh, and it's also not um, you know a big deal to get these coordinates from paint it's pretty simple you just move your cursor to the top left and then you drag a box from there and that's it so the xy coordinate uh, which will be visible again if i click on the cursor here um and then, I'm sorry click on escape and then click on the cursor here and then you have your xy coordinate again and then you can draw your box and you can get your width and height coordinates from here but because we have all these values here that's going to make our job a lot simpler so i'm going to go ahead and enter all these values quickly um, it's 503 by 34 and 192 by 349 so that should do it this time when I click on enable uh, I'm not going to click on save because I have to add another image so I'm going to go ahead and click on save and add another so what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to add another image which is going to be slot 3 now so I'm going to type in uh, the slot name and the tooltip text I'm going to select the creative for that uh, and I'm going to put in the coordinates from my spec sheet which is 121936 one two one nine three six and the width and height is uh one double eight and three four three so one double eight and three four three that's it now let's add another let's quickly add um couple, let's quickly fill all the slots that we have it's time to add the creative for slot four just going to do that now and one four nine three zero zero and the width is um, so the width for that is one four nine three zero one nine one three four two save and add another enable slot five um, choose your file from the slot choose your coordinates from your spec sheet so that's 228374 the width and the height is 93 and 202 save and add another slot 6 choose the file for that creative now this is a slightly wider image um so we go ahead and so we have selected um, that particular creative and now we have to put in the left coordinates and the top coordinates which is 353 and 386 and the width and height which is 315 and 115 I'm going to enable that and we're going to save and add another we've got two more to go um, so this is slot seven choose that file uh, enable that and then choose the slot seven requirements one two four eight three eight seven and the width and height is uh, three one five and one one five and now the final slot that we have to fill is slot number eight we'll choose the file for slot number eight we're going to enable that uh, and we're going to put in the values for slot number eight sorry I typed it in the same box uh, and the width is 
90 by 196. That's it. So we're going to save this now because we have filled all the slots. Uh, and now let's see how the lobby looks. So with just a few clicks and settings, I have added images on um, all of these fields. You see that the banners have been set uh, on all of the fields. And um, that's it. That's how simple it is. I think uh, I made a mistake here in terms of um, the width or the height ratio. So I'm just going to go ahead and check that quickly um this is slot number six um, so i'm going to go in to my sixth slot yeah that's right this is the slot that you have to make the changes in so click here and um, let's cross check 315 and 115 oh so right i made a mistake there forgive me for that save that and this should be corrected now and there you go so it fits perfectly um, and if you also look at um, this image here it's slightly off center so we're going to just click on the right coordinate for that and in, uh, 1, 2, 2, 5 and 3, 9 so 1, 2, 2, 5 and 3, 9 for slot 3, 1, Five and three nine. I'm going to make that change in my spec sheet, uh, and I'm going to make that change on the back end as well for image three. Um, so now my new value is one two two five and three nine. So one two two five and three nine. This should uh, fix the issue now. We're going to refresh it, and now it's perfectly aligned so that's how you can actually check how your banners or how your creatives are being positioned onto your lobby and you can make the corrections on the back end and they'll be immediately reflected onto your front end as well so we have just decked up uh, the lobby and now we're going to move ahead and add tags uh, to our event venues so this i want uh, to title this as my auditorium I want this to be my experience zone and I want this to be my exhibition area. Now we're going to do that uh, with certain creatives that we have made for auditorium, engagement area and exhibition area. We're just going to add them in their uh, respective slots. So let's do that now. Uh, so very similar to how we added images here, we just go to add sponsored images. We choose um, you know, the engagement area option and we click open now engagement area we want to be positioned on slot 9 so i'm going to name this as slot 9 I'm going to enable it and i'm going to pick the values for slot 9 that is 461 and 604 604 and the width and height ratio uh, is 150 into 30 so it's 150 by 30. Let's save that or rather save and add another because we also want to add, um, you know, different creatives there. So I'm going to now be adding the auditorium tag. Um, so this is slot 10, sorry, um, slot 10. Choose the auditorium tag. And let's look at slot 10's values it's 846584 width and height is 17443 now let's save that and let's see if our tags have been added onto the page and there you go engagement area and auditorium area has been added um, and now we need to add on uh, the exhibition area tag on slot 11 so that's the last image static image that we'll be adding um so exhibition area slot 11 turn this to active pick up the values for slot 11 that is 1309603 the width and height is 148 and 30 
and we're done so i'm going to save that and let's see if it's reflected and there you go so these three tags are um, static images for now but we're going to be adding hotspots to this uh, area here and we're also going to try and add uh, some rotating images uh, on the on these brandings here um, so now i'm going to teach you how to do that um, and this is how you uh, deck up your lobby template that you're using the lobby environment that you're using um, to highlight your brand or to highlight your customer's brand and this is how you play a video either to vimeo or through youtube just by pasting the link on the back end so that's pretty much uh, how you um, do the initial customization and the initial design of your virtual lobby now we're going to learn how to add rotating images to our virtual lobby right now we see that all these banners are static um, so if i were to change these um, to be dynamic in nature i can do that uh, and it's very simple so you just simply go into rotating image settings uh, and once you're there um, so we're going to add rotating image on slot two and three so i'm going to go ahead and um, remove the static image from slot two and three um, so these are the images that I want to delete I do not want them to be a part of the virtual event lobby and I'll go and just delete those two files from there and I'll go to rotate Im rotating image settings instead and simply click on add rotating image setting and it should open this form um, click on enable put in the name as rotating banner one um, the tool tip text can be um, anything it could be your uh, main sponsor um, it could be um, you know your gold sponsor your platinum sponsor it could be anything that you want it to be uh, it is something that is displayed on um, you know on that particular rotating image when you hover above it so that is the purpose of the tool text here um, the tool tip text here uh, rotating speed i do not want it to be too dynamic so i'm going to set it at one and then again the left top and with height coordinates are nothing but um you know the coordinates that we took from paint so in this case i'll be taking uh, the left coordinate as 505 and 35 and i'll be drawing this box to get um, you know the width and height which is 197 and 315 uh, which we already have on record here so 503 by 34 um, i'm going to just quickly enter that information here for slot 2 uh, it's 503 by 34 and 192 by 349 There we go now i'm just going to save this and it's going to put that rotating image setting onto slot 2 now my slot 2 has become a rotating banner and i can add as many images as i want to that banner how do i do that now once my rotating image banner setting is active in slot 2 i can go to this rotating images option here and i can simply add rotating images from here by choosing the files that i want to add um, and i can just choose rotating banner one which is slot two um, on our template and i'm just going to go ahead and save this so when you're adding rotating images you're going to be needing more than uh, one image so what we'll do now is we'll choose another image or uh, we'll open that and what we'll do this time is uh, we'll save and add another so we'll go ahead and choose another image and we'll open that and there we go so rotating image banner um, the only thing that you need to make sure while you're doing this is that whatever file you choose they all have to be in the same proportion for your rotating image banner to look um like one dynamic image so all of these are in the same proportion uh, that's how we got them designed and i'm just going to save this setting now and now when i go ahead and you know 
it's before we see the preview let's add another setting here this time we're going to add it to slot number three so this is going to be rotating banner two and the tool tip text would be uh, let's say platinum sponsor so rotating speed like we like you know you have to set it to one it can be anything that you want uh, one is something that we recommend for it to look like one dynamic image uh, and then we'll quickly go and pick up the values for slot three which is one two two five and three nine one two two five and three nine the width and height is 188 and 343 and we'll save this there you go you have the second banner active in slot 3 so just go into rotating images and um, add an image so choose file and now we're going to be adding another image this time we're going to be adding it to rotating banner 2 because we want that to be displayed in slot number 2 so save and add another, choose your file, open it, make sure you put it on rotating banner 2 and you save it. Oh, let's just add one more image just in case. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this, going to add it on rotating banner 2. Now that we've added rotating banners on both the settings, uh, on both the slots, that is slot Two and slot three have now become rotating banner one and two um, so main sponsor and platinum sponsor is the tooltip text this is the rotating speed and this is the alignment this is for um, you know the banner positioning and both of them are active so let's go ahead and refresh this to see what happens and there you go so um, your so there has been a mistake i think slot 5 is an image that we shouldn't have picked for rotating image 2 so i'm going to just go ahead and, yep, this is that image just glitching so let's just remove that image i think it's not in the right proportion so I'll go ahead and delete that all the other images are in the right proportion so once i refresh that it should be good to go so the image that we used by mistake was in this proportion this uh, width and height ratio which is not suitable to be added as a rotating image here um, so you have to ensure that all your images that you use for rotating settings are in the same proportion that is in the same width and height ratio um, so that's how you add rotating images to make your page dynamic now that we have completed branding our virtual event environment our virtual lobby uh, we're going to go ahead and add certain hotspots that are going to serve as navigational um, hotkeys throughout the entire event um, so we're going to be adding hotspots under the engagement area tag the auditorium tag the exhibition area tag as well as the help desk tag so these are different um, virtual event elements that we're going to be linking onto our lobby page um, to complete the user experience or the user journey. So to begin with, we'll be configuring a help desk uh, hotspot. And, uh, let's just go into the back end and I'll show you how it's done. It's very simple. All you need to do is click on the first option here that says hotspots under event lobby. Um, and like we add every other setting on to plateau all you have to do is click on add hotspot and it will give you this form now i want to configure the help desk first so i'm going to be selecting help desk from the drop down that appears here um, and i'm going to click on enable and for the color uh, i want this to be orange and uh, i hope you remember how to add colors here which was very simple um, just pick the color code from the HTML website here. Um, the website can be opened very easily by clicking on this link under the colors tab. And there you have it. Now we want to pick a shade of um, orange that is, you know, bright enough to be noticed. Um, and I think this would work fine. So I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to quickly paste it in the colors tab and that's it. The tooltip desk is going to say 
um, click for help. So this is the tooltip text that is going to, um, you know, be mentioned when I hover over the hotspot. Uh, the tooltip text is, um, you know, uh, essential when you're creating hotspot because uh, the moment you uh, take your cursor to the hotspot, this is the text that is displayed. We're going to have to pick the coordinates for where we want the hotspot to be displayed. Uh, we know the process to do this. We know the drill to do this, which is very simple. Um, this is not in the spec sheet because we just need one coordinate for this. Uh, the height and width is something that can be auto configured. Um, so I want my help desk, uh, my help desk hotspot to be active here. So I'm going to move my cursor to that exact location and I'm going to note the value that is displayed here. So it says 391899. So 391 and 899 is the value that I want uh, my hotspot to be uh, displayed at. So 391899. That is where I want to configure my hotspot. Uh, so whenever you're creating a hotspot, you do not need to um, draw a box there or you know get um, the width and height for that. You can simply just um, go on to um, you know plateau and you can um, select a width and height ratio that suits you. Uh, we recommend setting it at 20 by 20 because it looks visually appealing but you can customize it as per as your requirement um you can you know if you keep this as 50 by 50 you're going to end up with a very big hotspot and if that's what you're looking for um you're always you know you can always go ahead with that option i'm going to go ahead and save that ensure that enable is on and that's it that should create a hotspot at my lobby page for the help desk um, and there you go so there is where my hotspot is made active and it says click for help so whenever i click on this option i'll be led to my help desk but because we have not configured the help desk as of now uh, it's not going to display anything it's going to be blank um, so this is just a, a test document that we have uploaded on help desk a background that we've uploaded on help desk nothing has been configured uh, we're going to go ahead and change that quickly now um, so these are how the different hotspots that um, you know you can add here um, now we go ahead and create a hotspot for engagement area so we'll add another hotspot under engagement zone we'll enable that uh, we'll set the color to the same shade that we used earlier that was orange oh, and the tool tip text will be um, click for engagement zone there we go uh, to quickly pick up the x and y coordinate i'm going to move my cursor just about here somewhere maybe yeah there we go and that's it so i want my hotspot to be displayed here which is 531 and 733 so i'm going to go back to my back end and i'm going to add 531 oh, and the other value was oh, was 531 and 737 uh, I don't think that work. Yeah, 737 works fine. Uh, so we'll go ahead with uh, 533 and 731. 533 and 731. And the width and height by default for all the hotspots that I like to make is 20 by 20. So I'm going to save this. And let's see if the hotspot is made active on our page. And there you go. It's slightly uh, away from the engagement area. So we're going to rectify that. I'm going to go to lobby and I'm going to pick a different coordinate that is more closer to 
uh, my engagement zone so I am going to work with 541 and 713 for now so I'll just go there and I'll edit this to 541 and uh, the next coordinate that we're going to be picking up is going to be 533 and 699 I think that works perfectly so 533 and 699 and 699 I'm going to put those values there and I'm going to save it uh, and I'm going to see how it's reflected on my front end so it's uh, perfectly positioned now uh, close to the engagement zone and this is uh, when you click on the engagement zone it takes you to the engagement area which we have not configured so far um, so we'll be doing that shortly um, in the course but uh, now that we have created these hotspots our lobby area is functional and completely branded um, so we're going to go ahead and create the help desk now 